Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to create modular sprite sheets as used in Battle Royale Tycoon. We're going to take all the parameters we've been using to save and load the exact same sprite sheet every time. Let's begin. So far in this series we've dynamically created this sprite sheet. We have options for multiple skin colors, multiple hair and beard colors, and also various beard and hairstyles. And finally, we have multiple bodies with a primary and a secondary column. So now with all of these parameters, we're going to implement saving and loading so we can correctly load the very same sprite sheet every time. We're going to use JSON to keep our file format simple. If you're not familiar with JSON, check out my series on how to make a simple save system. The game is out now on Steam, so check it out to see what I'm teaching here apply to a real game. So here in our code, let's define a class to hold our sprite sheet data. We are going to make this a very simple class and in here we're going to store a int for the hair index, also another one for the beard index and the body index. So those are the indexes that compose our sprite sheet. Then we have a public color, first let's store the hair color, then we need the skin color and then the body primary color and the body secondary color. All right, so these are all the parameters that we use when creating our guest sprite. So in here, let's create a function to generate a random guest sprite sheet data. So we make it a public, it will return guest sprite sheet data and just call it generate random. And let's make this a static function. So here in our code, we can see how we were grabbing our values. So let's copy the array for the various skin colors. Then we pick a skin color, okay. Then we have the various hair colors. For the body primary and secondary, let's keep a simple one. And for the indexes of the hair and beard, we are grabbing them in here. So we define our hair index. And if we have hair, we choose a random one. And if not, then we simply set our hair index to minus one. And we're going to do the exact same thing for our beard index. And finally, our body index. All right, so just like that, we are correctly picking random parameters that we need to create our sprite sheet. So now after we have created all of these, let's return a sprite sheet data object. And we're going to create it using these indexes. Okay, so here it is our final object, which contains our random parameters. So now just for testing, let's try saving this object. So on the game handler on awake in here, let's simply get a guest sprite sheet data. And we're going to go into the guest sprite sheet data and generate a random data object. Now in here, we want to convert it into JSON. So we're going to use the JSON utility dot to JSON. And we're going to convert our guest sprite sheet data into JSON. And for now, let's just print it on the console so we can see what this returns. And yep, here it is on the console. You can see our JSON representation of our guest save data object. You can see the hair index, beard index, body, and the various colors. All right, so now let's try saving and loading. So in here, let's make a function. We need to return void, and this will be our save function. Now, the simplest way to save persistent data is using player prefs, so we're going to use that here. We do a set the string, and we give it our JSON string. So we are grabbing the JSON string from this object and we are setting the string with the key guest sprite sheet data to contain our JSON string. And then we're going to have another function, a public void load. And in here, we're going to load it from the player prefs. So we go into the player prefs and do a get string and get the, this string that was saved previously. All right. So this is our string for our JSON string. So now let's print out our JSON string on saving and loading, just to make sure everything is working correctly. So here in our game handler, let's just do our guest sprite sheet data. First we save, and then we load. All right, so let's see if both strings match. And yep, here's the code, and yep, as you can see, they both look exactly the same. So we are correctly saving and loading using player prefs and using JSON to contain our file format. Okay, now I have added two debug buttons to save and load. 
So in here, using this one, let's save it. And yep, okay, he saved hair index of one, beard minus one, and body of three. So now let's reload the scene. And now when I hit load, we should be able to see one minus one and three. Hit load, and yep, there you go, one minus one, three. Okay, great. So we have saving and loading working perfectly. Now all we need is to actually apply it to our texture. So in here, let's modify this function to instead of using get texture, we are going to receive a get sprite sheet data as a parameter. And in here, instead of grabbing from a skin color array, we grab the skin color from the data and do the same thing for all of our parameters. Okay, so we have replaced all of our random parameters with the ones given by this class. And here, let's modify this function to be set guest sprite sheet data. We're going to receive our guest sprite sheet data, and it's what we're going to use to generate our texture. So in here, we generate a random one, and then we set it to this one. And on our load button, we are going to, first of all, load our data. Then we set it using the new data. Okay, so in here, one last thing we need is after we get our JSON string, we need to convert it back into our data object. So instead of having a load function, we're going to have a static, which will return a get sprite sheet data, call it load static. And again, it goes through that, gets the JSON string. And then we do JSON utility dot from JSON. We want to convert it back into a get sprite sheet data and we give it our JSON string. And this is what we're going to return. Okay, so here's our character with a blonde mohawk and a blonde mustache. So now I hit save, and there you go, there's the save string that was saved. We got the hair index, beard, hair color, and so on. Now let's reset the scene. And again, here's another random, and we hit random a couple times, and now if I hit load, yep, there you go, there it's the exact same character as previously. Again, randomize, load, and we can always grab the same character back. The game is out now on Steam, so check it out to see what I'm teaching here apply to a real game. So there you have it, we took our dynamically created sprite sheet and added the ability to save all parameters so we can load the same sprite sheet at will. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.